हेलो लर्नर्स माय सेल्फ मिस्टर विवेक बंजी कुटीकर असिस्टेंट प्रोफेसर एट सेकेंडरी कॉलेज कॉमर्स डिपार्टमेंट एंड टुडे आई एम हेयर टू डिस्कस विद यू दी मैनेजमेंट प्रोडक्शन एंड फाइनेंस एंड आवर टुडे डिस्कशन टॉपिक इज इंट्रोडक्शन टू प्रोडक्शन एंड इन्वेंटरी मैनेजमेंट फर्स्ट प्रोडक्शन मैनेजमेंट लेट्स अंडरस्टैंड व्हाट इज द प्रोडक्शन मैनेजमेंट बिफोर मूविंग टू द प्रोडक्शन मैनेजमेंट लेट्स अंडरस्टैंड व्हाट इज द मैनेजमेंट मैनेजमेंट इज नथिंग बट द प्लानिंग ऑर्गेनाइजेशन डायरिंग डायरेक्टिंग कंट्रोलिंग मोटिवेटिंग और मेंटोरिंग द एक्टिविटी ना प्रोडक्शन मैनेजमेंट इज द पार्ट ऑफ बिजनेस मैनेजमेंट इट रेफर्स टू द एप्लीकेशन ऑफ मैनेजमेंट प्रिंसिपल टू प्रोडक्शन फंक्शंस इन अ फैक्ट्री बेसिकली प्रोडक्शन मैनेजमेंट एप्लीकेबल वेयर द एक्चुअल प्रोडक्शन टेक प्लेस इन अदर वर्ड्स इट इन्वॉल्व्स एप्लीकेशन ऑफ मैनेजमेंट प्रिंसिपल्स लाइक प्लानिंग ऑर्गेनाइजिंग कोऑर्डिनेटिंग डायरेक्टिंग एंड कंट्रोलिंग द प्रोडक्शन प्रोसेसेस डेफिनेशन ऑफ प्रोडक्शन मैनेजमेंट प्रोडक्शन मैनेजमेंट इज द प्रोसेस ऑफ इफेक्टिव प्लानिंग एंड रेगुलेटिंग द ऑपरेशन ऑफ दैट सेक्शन ऑफ एन एंटरप्राइजेस विच इज रिस्पॉन्सिबल फॉर एक्चुअल ट्रांसफॉर्मेशन ऑफ मटेरियल इन टू फिनिश गुड्स प्रोडक्शन इज नथिंग बट द प्रोसेस ऑफ कन्वर्जन ऑफ रॉ मटेरियल इन टू सेमी फिनिश गुड्स और सेमी फिनिश गुड्स इन टू फिनिश गुड्स सो मैनेजिंग दैट एंटायर कन्वर्जन प्रोसेस इज कॉल्ड प्रोडक्शन मैनेजमेंट लेट्स अंडरस्टैंड दी ऑब्जेक्टिव ऑफ प्रोडक्शन प्लानिंग द फर्स्ट ऑब्जेक्टिव ऑफ प्रोडक्शन प्लानिंग इज राइट क्वांटिटी now why we have to produce the particular commodity in right quantity because if we produce in higher quantity than required quantity then it can be result in that our capital could get blocked in terms of stock and if we produce the less quantity than required quantity then result will be we are unable to face the market demand second objective of production planning is right quality quality is the most important or most significant element that directly affect your sales and sales affect your revenue or revenue affect your profit so in production management or production planning we have to take care of this first four element very carefully right quantity right quality right time and right manufacturing cost now why we have to produce the any commodities in right time because if we are dealing in the seasonal commodity and we are producing that commodity after the season or in at the end of the season then it's problematic for us that we are unable to face the demand next is right manufacturing cost so manufacturing cost is nothing but the direct cost associated with the production and as you already know that the cost selling price is equal to cost plus profit is equal to selling price now what happen if our if let's say understand one example our cost is 100 rupees profit margin suppose 10 20 rupees <clears throat> then our selling price is 120 now manufacturing cost and selling price are directly proportionate to each other for example if our cost increase to 120 and our profit margin is 20 rupees we kept same then our selling price is increase 140 which means when cost increase selling price increase and vice versa if our cost re, uh, reduce to 80 rupees and we keep the profit margin 20 same then our selling price can be 100 so in production planning we have to consider this cost factor very closely next objective is optimum utilization of resources whatever resources required for production so basically re resources required man material machineries labor and equipment so we have to utilize the resources optimally next is face competition so production planning of one of the most important objective of production planning is the company is capable to face the competition in the market why because we are producing at the right quantity right quality we are producing at right time and our manufacturing cost is also under control so the benefits of this uh, producing in right quantity quality time and manufacturing that we can capture the larger market segment we can earn the consumers loyalty so that we can enter into market diversion and expansification program and program that help us to face competition next is introduction of new pro uh, product expansion of the firm and achieve the organizational objective let's understand the scope of production management the first scope or area of production management is location of the facilities now location of the facility which means location of the factory where actual production take place now let's understand uh, we have to choose such a location for our production activity or for our factory that location should be nearest 
to the our requirement what is required for production is raw material labor machine equipments or we can say the storage facility so our location of the facility should be near so that we can get this all factor easily and at very short time next is plant layout plant layout means okay design or okay layout of our factory so accordingly our product accordingly our product line or process we have to design the factory or plant next important areas of production management is product design product design is nothing but the size shape color or dimension of the product we have to design our product that we can get the competitive advantage or our product can be different from our competitors next is process design if our product is not producing in single process it's uh, come under the multiple process then we have to design our process in such a way that we can utilize the optimum utilize of our resources and uh, shortage or we can say the wastage of resources is minimum next is production planning and control production planning is nothing but deciding in advance what to produce how to produce and when to produce and we can say what is production control production control is nothing but uh, whatever we have already planned controlling or monitoring that plan activity is nothing but the production control next is quality control we have to keep or maintain the quality so that we can our product can be different from our competitors and quality control there are so many methods that we will discuss okay later on the quality control next is material management material management is nothing but managing the raw material required for production because if our target is to produce the 1 lakh unit and unnecessary we are uh, ordered the raw material for 10 lakh units then the result of this our raw material can be waste or we can say our capital is blocked in terms of raw material stock next is maintenance management maintenance management is maintenance of the plant factory layout and your build, uh, building next is production planning and control i have already mentioned that production planning is nothing but deciding in advance what to produce how to produce and when to produce and production control is nothing but monitoring the production planning activity so next topic is steps in production planning and control so production planning and control is broadly divided into four steps first is routing is nothing but deciding the route of the production or manufacturing path next is scheduling scheduling is nothing but the fixing or establishing the timetable start time and finishing time of the production process next is dispatching is nothing but the issuance of the issue of the orders and last one is follow up follow up is nothing but that ensuring all the process accordingly to plan whatever we have already planned so follow up is nothing but checking or verifying that uh, the process is going as per our planning next topic is productivity productivity is nothing but the ratio of output to input which means whatever raw material or inputs that we have assigned and with the help of that material what number of quantity output that we are going to deliver is nothing but the productivity now factors influencing productivity first factor influencing productivity is productivity is human factor so in human factor both uh, ability to work and willingness to work is considered why ability to and willingness to work because at the end ultimately at the end of the we can say uh who is the responsible for who is the key element in the factory to produce the uh, goods so is the labor so labor is nothing but the human factor and human factor his ability and willingness to work is affect the productivity of production department and ultimately production productivity of organization second is technological factor so in technological factor first is size and capacity of the plant second is product design standardization and timely supply of the raw materials third factors influencing productivity is production factor so production factor is nothing but productivity of entire production department their planning coordination and controlling next is management factor so management factor is nothing but the productivity of management factor and finance so in short we can say if we want to increase the productivity of entire organization then the productivity of each and every department should be increased or we can say we can utilize our each and every department's resources that can be human man material labor anything so that if the productivity of production department increase if the productivity of finance department increase if the productivity of uh, production department or uh, hr department increase the entire organization productivity can be increased next factors influencing the productivity is natural factor political factor and economic factor thank you so much